We're all back at the Oval today for the first meeting in the NatWest series between England and South Africa. Thanks, David. And we're back at the Oval and we had a thriller here when Pakistan played England. What a good wicket, lots of runs, England cruising to victory. I think it'll be a little different today. They have to pick themselves up after Trent Bridge, but they've got a good wicket. They'll trust this wicket and it does look another belter here from the Surrey ground staff. They pride themselves on their wickets and I think this is one that will not let them down. There's a bit of a surprise down here and no Michael Vaughan for England. Marcus Treskothic uh, steps into his shoes and Graham Smith, it's a warm welcome to him on his first tour of England with the South Africans. Clive Lloyd's given the coin to Marcus, so give it a spin. Tails. Graham's called a tail and it looks like a tail, so South Africa have won the toss. Graham, what are you going to do? We're going to have a bet. It looks a great track. It was very good for England's match against Pakistan here. Yeah, we saw that. It looked uh, good even pace and bounce, and uh, that's, that's the best way to prepare a one-day wicket. You can come in and, and get some good runs under the board, and, and that's what we're looking to do. New era for South African cricket. You've got a nice mixture of youth and experience. Yeah, definitely. We've moulded a good team, and the team's really happy at the moment, so hopefully we can come and put all the practice that we've done into, into performance today at international level. Great. Enjoy your tour of England. Thanks very much, Mark. Uh, Marcus, uh, last-minute call-up for you. Yeah, Mike's just uh, struggled with a bit of a back spasm, picked up on a couple of days ago, but uh, just uh, not fit enough today. So what's your 11 going to be? A couple of changes then? Yeah, Richard Johnson comes in, uh, stays in the side, um, James Anderson comes back and Jim Tratton comes in the bat four. And what about the uh, middle order? Uh, mate, it's not too much different. Obviously there's only one change with uh, Jim Tratton coming in at four, um, so we've just got to keep playing well, keep being confident and hopefully we'll come through today. South Africa opting to bat first, having won the toss. And it's the captain who uh, makes his way down there. He leads Herschel Gibbs down. Already averaging uh, 39 in 28 one-day internationals. And Herschel Gibbs, now one of the best uh, one-day batsmen in the world. There's no doubt about that. Graham Smith is going to be facing the first ball. He's the left-hander. Too short from Anderson, that's deposited one bounce uh, into the uh, crowd at square leg. It's a lot of boundaries, Herschel Gibbs. Times the ball very well. Picks up the length, the line very quickly, makes whatever adjustment is necessary. Have a look at that. Both feet together. Well pitched up delivery. I'm sure he was looking for another short ball there, Herschel Gibbs. Very good bowling. Excellent delivery. Good wicket for England. Five for one. Another top class all rounder from world cricket. Jack Callis has a marvellous uh, record in both the, the one day arena and test match cricket. Pretty well played first ball. Hostile welcome from Anderson. Good delivery first ball. He wouldn't have been able to know what pace the pitch was playing at, how much bounce there was. Straight. Very good delivery. He's got it now. It's away uh, through point for four. Second time Anderson's dropped short and the second time he's gone to the boundary. He has dropped short, but he has pretty much dropped in the medium range there. Not short enough or not too full. <laughs> Big shout. Umpire Shepard says not out. Very good delivery. Very, very good delivery. Just straightening. You can see that ball pitching just fractionally outside the line of wall stump. And instead of coming in with the angle, it just tended to straighten. But of course, the length at which it pitched would have taken the ball over the top of the stumps. Change of pace, that's a good bowling from Goff. But not straight enough. Solanke with the fielding. Slower deliveries completely foxed him, but it pitches outside the line of leg stump. Had a very good chance of hitting the off stump. Big gap at extra cover. Giles is after that, but that's uh, away for four.
and that was well timed tall powerful man Graham Smith times the ball very well short again and more punishment fell into the trap again there James Anderson I was talking about the two lengths that he should be bowling that's the medium length that he should not be bowling that's halfway he wants to either bang the ball in short so that it gets up to shoulder height or pitch it up to sort of deliver that got rid of Herschel Gibbs that halfway length when the ball is just above waist high that's easy pickings well that's the lesson he'll have to learn with day cricket you don't have the sweeper back there still got to be put away and Smith puts it away well looks like he's strong in that area very strong I think most left-handers especially uh, also Marcus Triscothic in that area is very very severe just every now and again uh, Anderson tends to drag it a little bit too short or gets it a little bit too wide on this occasion and Graham Smith makes no mistake with that it's gone quickly to that shorter side of the of the ground He'll be furious with himself. I think he was trying to run it. Dangerous shot on the bouncy wicket. It bounces, just the inside edge, and it's chopped on. In the last couple of overs, Graham Smith has been fancying this in that area now that he's got in, but that's too close for him to cut. Gets the inside edge, and Anderson's laughing all the way. He scores 33 for two. Graham Smith's gone for 15. 33 for two. Jack Rudolph pace that not a lot of people over here in England would have seen impressive six ma matches an average of over 41 strike rates pretty healthy above 70 people have said that he should have played two years ago here he is now on the biggest stage and a little warm welcome to the stage <laughs> it's quite a wide but uh, Empire Simon Torfell quite right in that decision Well, this one's through, and that's four. Just overcompensating, just pitching up a little bit too much. Good shot, nicely played into position quickly. Lovely timing, and with this quick outfield, and it does spin away very quickly over this ground. Just a push. In the air, just over. Arm. Well, once again, I don't think uh, James Anderson will be happy with this. Uh, he started well, first ball of the over, and again he's dragged that short outside off stump. And Jacques Rudolph don't need a second invitation. Up and over, it's four more. It's going fine. I think it was only leg involved there, no bat. Leg by is the signal. Brings the 50 up, though, for South Africa, they'll be pleased. It's the first milestone. That's a good shot, he's found the gap. Wow. Just the slightest bit of width, and he's onto it. Beautifully executed. Crashed away, the face uh, opened just a little bit by Jacques Rudolph. And just enough width as well from Flintoff, a ball of full length. Quite a tall batsman. Rudolph sets himself back in the crease, but still plays a front foot shot. That's the beauty of playing on, on a good batting strip. You can take full tall if there's any sort of width. And yeah, there's just that thought from the bowlers. That's good running. Callis was in a perfect position there to see the, that the ball wasn't going to drift back onto the stumps. Very comfortable to Callis. It's tickled away. That's all it takes. A little bit of patience. Something will come along in the end. And that boundary just keeps things ticking nicely for South Africa. 67 for two. Johnson following through off his own bowling. Instinctive turn and throw, and uh, the decision now rests with Jerry Lloyds as, as the third umpire. I fancy this for England. 
wonderful work he's going to be close is this he's close enough that's terrific work he's not waiting for this the batter he knows he's on his way back confirmation crowd erupts excellent work we've talked about fielders in the outer and in saving one but here's Johnson the bowler Rudolph 20 South Africa 72 for three and a wonderful piece of fielding brings Mark Boucher to the crease firmly struck and in fact uh, the misfield allows him to come back for two it's up in the air and it's not quite going to get out there to Robert Key it wasn't a very convincing shot perhaps as well that he doesn't get this in the middle of the bat Mark Boucher he gets it high on the bat it's callous that would have been a big wicket just dropped short of Robert Key Cali sets himself and then takes the shot on that's surprising with two out there fine leg and deep backwards square well he's straight as well that's one of the shortest boundaries I think it is the shortest boundary on the ground here today it just shows you the importance of line in particular against good players they're just waiting for anything to go around about leg stump and hip high. It's perfect there. You just need a touch on that. A little tick, a little race away, fine. Would have been very close. Well, I think Bob uh, Mark Boucher would have been struggling here. Once again, they're hitting on the forearm. It was uh, Boucher that call, and this was away for all money I think those two uh, are very good buddies Mark Boucher would have had a word there with uh, his partner saying what was that all about great stop <laughs> terrific stop James Anderson uh, this is great fielding Indeed. This is this kind of fielding that lifts everyone. There's some great stops today by the England fielders. Gets one hand and that's a, oy, that's a good one. It really is. Well, that would have been run out uh, by a distance, but uh, the direct hit wasn't forthcoming. That's halfway. South Africa 94 for three. Well, I don't know what uh, Mark Boucher was thinking here. Uh, it's a very good, firm push to mid-off, and uh, Marcus Draskothic is no mug as a fielder. 100 comes up for South Africa with that extra. It's a leg by. But we are in the 27th over. The run rate is below four and over. Oh! It's going to be wide. That's well run this time by Boucher. There's no signal from uh, umpire Shepherd, so there must have been a bit of bat or glove on that. Let's have a close look here. Yeah, got a little bit of glove onto it. Here it is, 48 balls. Yes, it's a much better bowling performance all round than uh, against Zimbabwe. That's picked up. It's the gap between deep backward square leg and a fine leg. Johnson losing his line. Well, that's going to run away wide of uh, McGrath. And he can't get there. Giles disappointed to concede that boundary off his uh, last ball. Four overs now for 18, Ashley Giles. Top class player. But Bolsha certainly will strike the ball at a quicker rate. Well, he's edged it and edged it fine, but I think that's going to bring him his 50 for Jack Callis. Also, the 50 partnership. Callis then, 50 from 84, delivers four boundaries. And appreciated by his teammates. Well, he's been trying to get it fine, he gets it fine. It's another productive over. South Africa. 
nine runs coming from it. 32 gone, that's 135 for three. It's in the gap, that could well be four more. Andrew Flintoff doing his best to get there, he can't cut it off. Well placed. The runs are starting to flow now. So he has had to adjust his plans, Marcus Treskothic. But that's a good shot. That's what I was talking about with Mark Boucher. His strike rate would be a bit better than Jack Callis. Uh, slashed away. I'll go to the boundary. It wasn't that far away from... Jerome Solanke, the man there. 38 on his shirt. How far away is this? Not the way you would want to be trying to get the batsman out, though. There is no protection behind Square on the offside. The man out there deep is in front of Square. If he misses that man at backward point as he did there, whether he misses him on the ground or not, is four runs. He's got no chance whatsoever of an LBW from that angle. So he's 34 overs gone. 150 for three. And there you go. The fastest by far. Yeah. That's nicely played. It's another slower ball, I think. Well, this field. Should have been cut off, got there. It's the Giles, he couldn't stop it. So, another good over. Seven from that over. Good shot, this Mikey. Well, South Africa to me just seem to be doing things too easily at the moment. Almost every over they are getting a boundary. I don't think that was totally the bowler's fault. I think actually I should have cut that off. Beautiful shot. That's going to go all the way. Placed magnificently. Jack Callis at his best. It's a shot you'll see him play a lot this summer. And he plays it well. What a shot made that look very easy Jack Callis there's a man out there sweeping as they call that position but he's square that went through extra cover just to race the way inside edge heavily onto the pad might have deceived uh, the odd person in the crowd <laughs> it certainly deceived me I've shouted bold him it's an inside edge just had that rattle of the stumps going over inside edge onto pad that's fine shot nicely balanced it's just dumped it away the partnership is now worth 102 and this has been Flintoff's problem today he's just not on song you mentioned him setting high standards for himself but he's drifted into that leg stump a little bit too often on an excellent batting pitch here at the Oval. Fantastic shot. It's 50 for Mark Boucher, his first one international 50 against England. What a way to get there. A clubbing four. 6-4 is for Boucher in his innings. Just sets himself. He's on his way down the pitch. Anderson doesn't see him. He certainly can't get a hand on that. You, you must be quite intrigued because it's a new South African side, isn't it? A lot of youngsters here. You, I know you wanted to see Jacques Rudolph, but unfortunately got here just after he got out. And there we go. Bring you, see, bring you onto the air and we take a wing. Let's just slip back to the commentary box and let them pick it up and then we'll come back to you in a minute, Ernie. Perfect delivery from Andrew Flintoff. Bolly full, bolly straight. Flintoff's 50th wicket. Productive. That's one for him. They've brought in that partnership, which is important for England. Such a good wicket. 55 for Boucher, 183 for four. Martin van Jasveld is the uh, new man out there. Flintoff trying that Yorker again. Only just off the target, only just off line. That 
it's edged. And it'll race down to that third man boundary. It's the way the cookie crumbles at this stage of the game. A little bit of width. The bat absolutely flung at the ball. You can't set fields for that. Well, before you could blink, it's flown away to the boundary. As you say, it's a, a kitchen sink shot. He just throws everything at it. Thick outside edge, no slips. Great placement again. Now there's timing and power in the shot as well from Jacques Callis. He is the danger man now, as far as England are concerned. Well, when we were on commentary last, we talked about pacing and innings. He wasn't too worried that he dwelt for 40 odd deliveries and just got the pace of the pitch and the measure of England's bowl is when you look at the card now, Callis 86 from 119 with nine fours. That'll be the tenth. So yet another boundary for Callis. Brings up the 200 for the South Africans. It's looking very promising for them. Two quality shots, one off the front foot and then a cut off the back foot, sets himself forward, lets the ball come and again plays it very late on top of the bounce. 90 Callis. No, oh, that's gone. All the way. Despairing dive from McGrath. Callis moves on to 97. And again, a slow ball, lofted into the gap between three fielders. Robert Key ends up doing the actual fielding. Another slow ball, two out of two. Good length, though. And Van Jarsveld almost uh, getting right underneath it. Luckily for him, he sliced it. Falling into uh, a lot of space. Well, there's just no way you can do anything with this. That's crashing into middle stump. Right on line. Can't get underneath it. The one thing that you can do is probably bat, uh, bat a little bit outside leg stump and uh, show him, show the bowler your stumps. That's a superb bowling. Just when you need someone to get it right in the hole there at the death. No room to free the arms. That's hitting middle stump. Look at the elation on the face. South Africa now 221 for five. When the Oswald gone for 13. Sean Pollock's one day career. Average of just to 24, but he often has to sacrifice his wicket in these sort of circumstances at the end of the innings. Half stop by Solanke, but that brings up Jacques Callis's ninth one day international hundred. It's his first against England. It's been a masterful innings today. He shows his number in dedication to his father, who's not so well back home. His colleagues have enjoyed that. It's a very important innings for South Africa in their first outing in this NatWest series. 100 runs, Jack Cullis. That's a big hit. That's a massive hit. That's into the upper tier of the pavilion been put down in the crowd but that's uh, a massive hit from Sean Pollock 236 for five edged away fine that'll be four Callis won't mind how they come now he's got his hundred he's gonna throw the bat at everything wow. another great Yorker Vintoff's third scalp of a magnificent innings from Jack Callis, 107 out of 240 for five. Registering his first one day international 100 against England. This oval crowd will stand to Jack Callis. Looking for another big hit through the offside, but Flintoff getting the length absolutely right. Once again, right on the money. And everyone in this ground is standing up for a great knock.
Andrew Hall can enjoy himself in these uh, closing overs. Just ten balls left in the innings. It's away through extra cover. There's a gap there. That'll be a boundary. Bringing the cover fielder straighter. Well, that's a big shout there. Umpire Shepherd says uh, not out. And these are runs, that's why it's not LBW, because uh, Hall's got some bat on that. Up comes the 250 for South Africa. Slow ball from Goff, straight back over his head. Bad news for Darren Goff and bad news for England. These runs could make all the difference. That's four more as well. A very costly over. This is unlike Darren Goff. Oh, that's a way for four more. Goff can't believe it. Everything he's tried, this over has disappeared to all corners of the ground. Won't be four off this one, just a single as uh, Troughton tidies up at mid on, but that's a very productive last over. Andrew Hall with a quick fire, 23, Sean Pollock not out, 12, they put on 24 in 10 balls, and Andrew Hall taking 21 from Goff's last over, he started that over Darren Goff with 9 overs, no wicket for 40, he finishes it with no wicket for 61, and South Africa are going to be the happier team with 264 on the board, that's not an ungettable total on this very good oval batting pitch. A thoroughly entertaining first half of this one day international South Africa 264 for six. The innings built around that century by Jacques Callis. They were in trouble when he came in at five for one. The dismissal of uh, Herschel Gibbs. It was Callis and Voucher who repaired the damage and Callis kicked on to make three figures and then the whirlwind finish from Pollock and Hall. 264 for six. Well, the England bowling car there, Anderson, uh, yeah, he struggled a little bit today. He went for 54 of his 10 and uh, picked up the two wickets there of uh, Gibbs and uh, Smith. Darren Goff there at the end really went for a lot and 10 overs for 61. Flint off the pick of the lot there. 10 overs, three brilliant wickets, three great Yorkers. Three for 46, Johnson doing a good job, uh, none for 30 mark. And uh, Ashley Giles and McGrath, just the two overs there. 81 runs coming from the last 10 overs. England need to score those 265 at 5.3 runs and over. a huge responsibility on the shoulders of uh, Marcus Treskothic as he marches out there with uh, Vikram Solanke. His average is creeping up. The strike rate uh, of just over 72. Pollock's going to start with two slips and a gully to Treskothic. They've been doing their homework. There's a point either side of the umpire. Backward point and a cover point. They know that uh, Marcus Treskothic loves to score his run square the wicket on the offside. <laughs> Big shout. Simon Torpel thinks about it, but uh, Solanke was well forward, may have hit him outside the line as well. I think he probably just gets outside the line. Yeah, yes he does. Good delivery, good length straight away on the button. Clearly would have missed. That's a lovely straight drive. That'll give uh, Solanke some confidence. Not often Sean Pollock gets treatment like that in his uh, second over. Yeah, that uh, two full didn't hit that hard. Just a little punch down the ground. And the outfield will do the rest. Yeah. Well, it's uh, not controlled. Scothic was looking for that on the leg side, but it's ended up down at third man. Sean Pollock out at pasture there these days without the responsibility of captain. Well, I think he's gone trying to pull that and the angle going across to Scothic uh, has made it a bit more difficult. Ended up 
looking for a pull and then leaving it at the same time and that's carried quite a long way down there to third man to know where that's gone that's nicely played it's away in front of square Solanke's first boundary well the Vikram Solanke special he doesn't miss out there very very strong Again, not hitting this, not really hitting this very hard, just turning the wrists. And, uh, well, Garantini makes the pace. Just have got to get a good bat on that, and it's away. Two close catches only. That's away fine, and that'll be four. Pollock won't be impressed with that, but he can't blame the field placing. It was uh, poor delivery from the experienced South African campaigner. Straight to cover, good stop as well. That's Rudolph again. 19 for no wicket after five overs. England are going to have to keep an eye on this uh, required rate. Not really a half volley hit on the up by Solanke. Jack Rudolph diving away to his right. We talked about the two England fielders uh, being good out there in that region and South Africa have got uh, also two very young athletic guys in that particular department that's wide for Mantini and he's paid the penalty there it's the way for four is exactly the point Alan Donald was making you can't bowl short and wide to Marcus Trescothic he will murder you slip in a short mid wicket that's locked it over the top of cover. Just a couple of bounces over the boundary rope. Sean Pollock's not used to that treatment. Out of his crease such a long way. I think that was an attempt at slower ball. Yes, it was. And spotted. And Solanke gave that to treatment. Spots the slower ball and says thank you very much. Showing intent here, Solanke. That's away, fine, past second slip. Sean Pollock with a sliding stop. Some of the uh, spectators down there thinking he might have uh, made contact with the rope. Uh, David Shepherd is going to ask the opinion of Jeremy Lloyds, the third umpire. That's a difficult one for Jeremy Lloyds now. Is uh, Pollock touching the ball there? Or does he wait until he gets off the rope? Jeremy Lloyds decides there was contact, four runs is given. Well, that's found the gap very nicely indeed. No ball. And that little feather of an edge just goes through safely. There's frustration for you. Sean Pollock has been uh, doing his best to work out a way of getting a wicket here. He worked out 98% of it. The 2% was where his foot landed. Let's not worry about that. That's a great shot. Too short from McCarantini. Solanke seemed to have all the time he needed very quickly onto him. He has all the attacking shots, Vikram Solanke. All. Front foot, back foot, onside, offside, on the ground, lofted shots. As I said, I think he just needs to get a bit more discipline in his game. One bounce, four. Up comes the 15th for England. Great stuff. Tres Gothic has gone a bit further. Batted outside of his crease as well, but also looking to use his feet. He hit that very hard. Mid-70s miles per hour, Sean Pollock, that delivery. from uh, Solanke. Still within the first 15 overs, remember. So lots of room down the ground. A 
that's even more promising. It's a poor delivery, but it's beautifully put away by Triscothic. You don't bowl short and wide to Marcus Triscothic. He's a tall man. He will be able to get over the ball, hit down on it. Sure, he hits the ball in the air in that general direction at times. That'll be four as well. He's managed to get that over the top again. Trying to get it through a couple of times. Abandon that ploy. Get it over the top. Get it over the boundary. Twelve fours already in this innings. You can see a deliberate ploy there from Bikram Solanke. Just opening the face of the bat. Lofting it over the field. Treated with disdain for his first delivery. It was a great shot from Discothic. No problems at all here for Marcus Discothic, irrespective of who is bowling. Super shot. That really has raced away. It hasn't it any better than that today? No wonder they're up and dancing. for more scintillating stuff from Vikram Solanke. Well, what do you tell the bowler after that? He bangs it in, gets pulled in front of square for four. He pitches it up. Not a half volley. By no way is that a half volley. And he gets spanked through the offside. delivery and he got exactly what it deserves far superior at the moment England fantastic shot didn't quite clear the boundary on the full it's still four runs Solanke already uh, with his highest score in one day internationals here one run short of 50 What could you say was wrong with that shot? Perhaps the fact that it didn't go all the way. Steady head, kept his eyes on the ball all the way through. Another good shot, it's not a slow delivery. And it brings in 50. Well played indeed. Vikram Solanke, his first one day international 50. It's been a high class inning so far, it's been a very entertaining one. Well, when it's your day, there's no slip. So if you choose not to have one, well, it's frustrating for the bowler. But it's four more. Wouldn't it be great if we played on these pitches all the time? And a captain can rue that. Why did I not have a slip? But you don't when you're just getting a chase around. Run, 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 run. Well, hasn't quite got hold of it, but he's got quite a bit of bat on it. Has he got enough bat on it? He has. Brings the 100 up. We're not into the 16th over. 102 without loss. Dr. Scoppy goes on to 50. In some ways, played the supporting role in this innings to Vikram Solanke. His 50 comes off 48 balls, though. Solanke, he's, 60, he's 61 from 60, both of them scoring it over a runner ball. So over the infield, that'll go to the boundary. Lifted over mid on. One, it's a good shot. Two, it's a confident shot. Again, he just takes a start, uh, one step, he takes a little shuffle to get himself to the f pitch of the ball. There it goes, one, and just a little shuffle. Over the top again, running away towards the extra cover boundary, a fine diving stop. Jack Callis has still got the energy after his century. And bowling uh, two overs to sprint round and stop that four. It's lofted over, mid off a glorious shot from Trescothic. He loves playing here at the oval. 
ball comes on to the bat, he just dispatches it over mid off head. These good pitches just make things so easy. All you had to do was just play through the line of the ball. No movement. Neither air nor pitch offering too much assistance. That single will bring up the 150 for England at the end of the 24th over. Really marvellous start from Marcus Siskothic and Vikram Solanke. Beautiful straight drive. Straight down the ground, you won't find too many fielders directly behind the bowler. Let's have a look at this. Just bounces inside the rope, I think. I think that will be Jeremy Lloyd's decision. Four runs. Run. That's beautifully placed. Huge gap between uh, the third man and the cover point there. Solanke has found it unerringly. He's into the 80s. 166 without loss. Short pulled away by Solanke. Dreadful delivery from Dawson. That really was a help yourself. Oh, that's beaten uh, mid off and the extra cover. This is a very mature innings from Vikram Solanke today. That boundary takes him on to 95. He needs just five more for his first international hundred. Full toss, but she won't have quite picked out clearly. The response tells you that. Way back in the start of the innings, uh, Marcus Truscothic missed a full toss. Well, it wasn't a full toss, it was a Yorker length one, and he was surprised by it. Looks like he didn't pick it up somehow. And oh, Big Graham here just uh, said, Well, I didn't see that so clearly. Great shot again. Beautifully played. Well, he's played many a high class shot today. That's yet another one to take into 100. Wonderful moment for Vikram Solanke. His first international 100 here at the Oval. He's led the way today. England haven't lost a wicket yet in this chase. And he's there, 100, not out exactly. He swung that away, it's well in front of the square, it's another boundary for him. On he goes, relentless, and the car interior might well shake his head. He's gone this time, and Tini has made the breakthrough. A little bit of extra aggression has uh, paid off. South Africa putting the slip in, Jacques Callis. Genuine edge from Solanke, nicely caught. Great line, bounced at the ball before, backed it up with a very good ball that bounces a bit. And a good catch by Jacques Callis. Solanke to pass for 106. Well, following the fall of the wickets, first wicket in this innings, Robert Key is out there. Number three today, in the absence of Michael Vaughan. Well, it's what uh, South Africa wanted. It's just what Robert Key didn't want. And when he gets a chance to see this, he won't be happy with what he sees one little bit. I'm trying to rehearse that shot, he'd like to throw his bat at something else. But uh, a good catch by Mark Boucher. And Mackay and Teeny has got two. Robert Key out for North. First ball. England 202 for two. Just managed to get his pads on in time. With uh, Robert Key surviving, not really surviving, lasting, no, not really lasting, being out there for one ball. He's edged that. This is a purple patch for the South Africans. What a fight back. 
It's Callis now getting in on the act, and uh, McGrath has gone. But this is making things just that little bit more tense. All of a sudden, who knows? It can still be a little bit too late, but it's three down. Jacques Callis has come up with a little curler. That is a beautiful delivery. McGrath goes for naught, 203 for three. A little bit of wind out of the sails as far as England are concerned, but uh, Flintoff might just be the man to calm those nerves. You never know, is he? Oh. He is in good form this summer. <laughs> he's got underneath that, but he's given it a mighty clout. <laughs> the crowd have loved that. And it's only the weight of the shot that has saved Andrew Flintoff here. It's a great shot. And after the the ball sort of sailed over the fence he had the audacity to walk down the pitch and just showed Mackay and Tini how short it really was that's been smashed it's still a risky shot though you never know Jacques Rudolph might get another chance still out there at deep square leg oh great shot good stop too and that's the captain Graham Smith at mid off Fine shot. That's going to beat uh, Graham Smith. Well, it's a great shot from Andrew Flintoff on the up. Supreme timing from the big man. He's going to get away with it, Andrew Flintoff. Not quite sure it's where he really intended. Mid off in. No extra cover. Fair enough. It's up there. That's a much better shot. Full of control, full of power, placement and timing. Excellent. England closing in. Require 35. This is a proper cricket shot from Flintoff. Look how tall he stands in the crease. He just punches the ball through mid-off. He gets his platform there and just sets himself. It's in a terrific position just to play that shot. Well, that's a slow ball, it's spotted and it's dispatched a long way. 13 runs from the over. England need just 29 more. Pretty subdued South Africa out there and it's England that have done the business. This partnership between Truscothic and Flintoff, 33 from 26. Flintoff, two fours, two sixes in his 26 from 17 deliveries. And again, another clean hit. It is a good wicket. And the bowlers strangled the opposition on both occasions. Well, that's going to go. And it's going to go to the boundary. Marcus Truscothic's first 100 against South Africa's first at the Oval, his sixth in one day internationals. England happy, Truscothic happy, crowd delirious, teammates also. Truscothic moves to 101. That is short and it's smashed. I'm afraid uh, Andrew Hall is not big enough to pitch it down there. He was never going to change. It's the way he's been playing. Yorks, I think he made it into a Yorker. He's played over the top of it. But England should still cruise to victory. Almost balled by one of his own deliveries, Andrew Flintoff. A ball of full length. This is a play. It's not short. Flintoff hits over the top of a Yorker from Andrew Hall. But it's been a good innings. Forceful innings from Flintoff. 32 from 21. England closing in. 247 for four. Jim Troughton's the new man for England. He'll be on strike. Two this time for Troughton. The 250 comes up for England in the 43rd over. And that's uh, 105 now as he smashes that away behind point. 
Well, if South Africa keep ball in there, they're going to see a lot of this shot from Triscothic. 12th of July, that final. That's through for four. That'll bring the scores level. Triscothic's 13 boundary. Here comes Hall. Round the wicket to Triscothic. That'll do the job very nicely. And Teeny can't stop the one at mid-off. Triscothic finishes on 114 not out. What a rich seam of form. He's in Marcus Triscothic. James Troughton not out five. A great effort by Marcus Triscothic and Vikram Solanke, who really carried England to victory here today. And England's bowling performance doesn't look too bad. South Africa 264 for six, England 265 for four. They get home by six wickets here with over four overs to spare. England had to originally score 5.3 runs and over. They managed 5.78. A brilliant opening partnership of 200 between Solanke and Triscothic. Then a little hiccup as uh, Key and McGrath went for ducks. Flint off a quick fire, 32. Troughton kept his head at the end. A very fine six-wicket vic victory. Well, all the bowlers took a bit of punishment. Six of them used by uh, Graham Smith. Pollock went over five and over. So too and Teeny. Callis had a runner ball. Hall 5.5. Berger and Dawson 6.2. Fine, fine victory for England. 265 for four. They've beaten South Africa here by six wickets with 25 balls to spare. So, a fine day for England. They love the Oval this year, it seems. And at this stage, this early stage of the NatWest series, that's how the points table looks with England having played two, won one, lost one.